good morning <laughs> welcome to monday moments with fran it's great to see you if it's your first time here my name is francesca mcdowell and i am a leadership coach speaker and author and it's great to have you join us for monday moments and i'm delighted to have a guest with me today please introduce yourself hi i'm azzy great thank you so much and today i really wanted to bring um azzy on to really share about a recent project he's embarked on because i think there are so many people who have these dreams and goals and desires and sometimes they get a bit stuck in their own head as to why they shouldn't do it and so i'd love you to share about a podcast that you recently started yeah so i've uh, started a recent podcast called the law be with you podcast which is on anchor on google apple and uh, podcast republic and lots of other apps and i've recently ported it to youtube as well so i'm technically now a podcaster and a youtuber but only technically a youtuber <laughs> it's fine we enjoy technicalities and so what what's um firstly what is the podcast about yeah so for me i'm a big i'm a bit of a geek and i, I love stories I've, i always have I've, I've always been a big film buff uh tv shows I, I, I like reading books um so and i've always been into sort of the superhero genre fantasy genre science fiction genre and so my love of things like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings was, it has, has been a big thing in my life. And, and, and from that, I've, I've gone with um, a sort of the conviction that I have as a Christian. So it's kind of these two, two huge worlds in my life, my, my Christian faith first and foremost, and then this world of being a geek and into fandom and law. And I wanted to bring these two worlds together. And that's kind of what's kind of prompted me to be like, okay, how, how does that work? What would that really look like in reality? And, and uh, yeah, the podcast is kind of from that. Excellent. So good. Now, for people who don't know you, they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, wow, that's amazing. You've done this podcast. <laughs> he must be just, you know, up there, super confident, super on it, and have always been like this, yeah. able to kind of, you know, get in front of a camera or get on a microphone and start recording and sharing. So yeah. I'd love to kind of hear a little bit about your journey to kind of, get where you're up to now was it just yeah. walk in the park blinked one day and here we are <laughs> this podcaster or was it a slightly different journey it was a different journey to be honest you've got you've got to start from somewhere and, and, and I think the biggest thing for me is is taking the first leap or the first step or whatever and just like just just starting it is is the biggest thing um and then having an idea or a concept that you want to run with now it is hard in the sense that you could you can overthink it and start to get insecure and think, oh, what people are going to like it? Uh, is, you know, are, are, are folks going to play this? Is it you know, and whatnot? But um, it really did come out of the fact that, well, it's kind of a personal story. But like me and my wife, we're about, we're about to have a little girl, and from this kind of conviction of being a first time dad, there was a kind of conviction like I want to put something out there in the world. I want my voice to be heard, um, and I think the whole idea of you know being a creator in a sense of like obviously God enabled, but being a sort of creator, being a father or being in that role, it prompted a creative side in me that that I didn't really look to fully explore before. Sure. Um, so that was that was the kind of the catalyst, the spark. And I thought, you know what, let me start. So I spoke to a few friends about it and they said, well, on the Anchor app, you can start a podcast. It's free. You don't have to actually even like, you know, pay any money to start it. And as long as you've got an idea what you want to do, just give it a go and, and whatnot. And that's really where it started for me. Amazing. I love that. Firstly, congratulations. Thank on, you. Um, the, the baby that's coming soon. Really de delighted for you and your wife. And isn't it amazing how certain life events do bring out a different side of us? You know, yeah. and I definitely think that when you start creating you're almost leaving a legacy. Yeah. It becomes more than just about, you know, who you speak to in your daily life, but actually, like you were saying, the mark you can leave and letting your voice be heard in the world. So that is yeah. so, so incredible. So, so Thank powerful. you. And are you enjoying the journey? I mean, I am enjoying the journey, but it, it, and it's, there's a lot, it's, there's a lot to think about. It's quite, I mean, in a sense of, of, cause I'm on the show so far, I've got different collaborators on there who are, either as knowledgeable as me or even way more knowledgeable than me so it's kind of like I've been like oh can I need you on the show when, when are you available and get, get you to speak on it because I know I don't just want them to just to hear my voice although you, you know with my Brummie accent and whatnot but there you go but um you know I've got other guys on there that are really knowledgeable in there in, in certain areas so it's like there's an organizational side to it and also 
just thinking about for, from a format or technical side, like how do you want it to look like? How long do you want an episode to be? What is the theme of each episode? So there's a few things to think about, but I have really enjoyed it. Fantastic. That's so good to hear. And would you say, there was, I mean, did you have to overcome any fears or any insecurities such as public speaking or comparison? Was there yeah. anything for you that were kind of a little bit like, mm, I've got to work a little bit harder to kind of overcome that? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, in a, in a sense for me, I think the difficult part was like, starting it was difficult and I think for a lot of your listeners as well and your audience it might just be that initial kind of okay that mental battle of you know what would it look like how you know what how how will it be received so I think the initial thing was like get over that first hurdle sure. have it if you've got an idea you've got a dream follow that dream but the first thing do episode one yes. that's the most important thing for me is the thing I say as a lesson to anybody start it because from that You'll get ideas. You'll get. You've got. You create the creative energies will go, and you'll you'll really be able to move forward. But the first hurdle is to start the project. I think. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Would you have said five years ago that one day you'd be a podcaster and a technical YouTuber? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no way. I mean, it's so funny because like I've I've even started to be like, oh, I've, I've started googling so that. On YouTube, we're called Christian Fandom Geek. And so I'm a Christian first, I'm a fan, so fandom, and I'm a geek as well. So then, so, and I, I kind of like Googled it and it came up on there and it showed, and it showed the YouTube channel. And I was like, whoa, like, I, I'm like, you, you know, you could, you, could, you could Google the channel and it's on there. It felt more tangible and more real. And I thought, that's amazing. And like you say, if I, if I had a time machine that could go back five years ago, um, I would not have imagined being doing that now, no amazing and I absolutely love that because I mean even if we were to say like a year ago I think there are so many things in people's lives that they right now can't imagine themselves doing because they cannot get out of their own heads to realize that there's so much more inside of them and I yes. think that should be an encouragement for anybody who's listening that you don't know what you can become and what you can do even in well maybe even six months time right yeah in time in five years time and so to give yourself permission to dream big and like you said just start get that first episode done yeah totally agreeing with that yeah and how did you feel after you had done that first episode I think I was like a little bit harsh in a way I was like oh you know I think I was thinking about the things I wanted to improve sure. um and so I think there's that kind of drive to okay but I think I had to remember like okay it's the first episode it's not going to be perfect it's just a start but from that, I'll get more. I was getting more ideas about what I wanted the second episode to look like, what I wanted the third episode to look like, and so in that respect, um, the first episode won't be perfect, but but it was a boost to my confidence that it's I got it done. I've, I loaded it up on Anchor on the app, and you know, and it, and it flashed through an Anchor. Oh, it's, this is now on Google. This is now on. Uh, this is now on Apple Podcasts. This is now on Podcast Republic, and I was like, oh, "It's all on all these different podcasts that's out there in the world." And I was like, "So from that point of view, that that was a good thing." That was like, "Yeah, I'm really happy with that." Fantastic. Well, really, really well done because you know there are many, and you know, so in my role as a leadership coach, which I do full time, yeah, I see many people who sit on things and they're almost waiting for life to be perfect. They're waiting to be perfect. They're waiting to, to really start. But the reality is, like you said, you're gonna look back and say, well, actually I can improve and I can grow here. And that's a really health, healthy place to be at. You know, we want to be continually learning and developing. And I, yeah. know I started Monday Moments with Fran like three years ago. I was nowhere near as confident. You know, my setup was different. I'm, I'm not where I am today because there's learning and there's growing to be done, done on the journey. So yeah, really important. awesome. Fantastic. So thank you so much for coming on to share today. And I just want to encourage anybody who is listening. Have you ever thought it? Have you ever thought it? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought about starting a podcast? Because if you have, what is holding you back from doing it? You know, there is room for you. There is room for your voice. You know, um, one thing I love that as shared is just about how he, how he labels himself. He's a Christian, he's a, he's a fan and he's a geek, right? And that's unique as a combination because as much as there are so many people out there sharing content, each and every one of us brings something unique to the table, table and that's us and that's our story. And so never feel like you can't just do something because there's a lot of people out there doing it. You know, there is room for you at the table. 
So, Aaron, I'm going to leave you with the final words. Um, how, what would you, how would you encourage somebody who is on the verge of starting? I mean, it may be a podcast, but it could be something else, just something yeah. that is in their heart to do, really. What would you really say to them? Yeah, I think, like, dream big. And I would say, like, but dream big, but remember, like, the, the first initial part of it might be a small thing. It might just be a case of downloading an app or, or buying a cheap microphone off, off Amazon or something like that. Um, but actually, just do the, start it start it this is the time to start it don't delay and uh and run with it and and you'll find that actually initially you might be like unsure of yourself but your confidence will build as you go along excellent thank you so much for coming on today really appreciate it guys thanks for having me oh you're welcome thanks for being on today with monday moments with fran as always do not forget to encourage somebody else this week take care god bless you and i shall see you next week